Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millibots Gaming has a wide assortment of sealed products, singles, codes, and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Welcome back everyone, welcome back, um, welcome back to another video, this time we're featuring Trevnor, you know how much I love this deck, if you've been following me, I got top 8 at Dallas this year before Pokemon got cancelled, um, not an innovator of the deck, I got the idea from Japan, but I did make it work before we even had quick balls, and once again, yeah, I was so close to winning Dallas Regionals. I feel like if John hadn't uh, top decked the way he did against me in the top eight match at Dallas, I certainly would have been um, champion or I would have been very close to get there because the Rowlet Executor didn't, um, didn't make it past top four. So I don't know. I love Trevnor. I know it's a toxic deck, but I absolutely love Trevnor. Nightwatch, 150, and your opponent shuffles two random cards from their hand onto back to their deck, and you are able to use my Lodix ability, Energy Grace, to power up the Trevnor. You sacrifice a prize, and then because you are behind in prize cards, Ace Trainer activates, and you give them three cards. You draw six, and then you take away two of those three cards. So your chance of uh, punishing big hands is really good. Um, Scoop Up Net is a new addition to the deck since you can reuse Shaman, however, I first had four of these, they were getting a little bit clunky, so I dropped down to two. I don't have the weakness policies anymore because online Turbo Dark doesn't seem to be as popular. It, like, I played against one just now, but it had been a while since I last played against one, um, so I'm not like super concerned about covering my weakness right now. I wanted the extra consistency, so I have the scoop of nets, I have the extra stadium, I even added a crowbat to help combat against uh, potential power plant decks, and we have the two field blowers plus four sky fields to help with um, power plants, silent labs, and the field blowers help against garb, but also chaotic swells. So, the idea behind this deck, was well, not do that yet, the idea behind this deck is to blow up my Lodic, bring them down to three cards with a strainer and then night watch to take away their hand we have uh king army bq to whorehouse gx on turn one preventing them from playing trainers under turn one and then absolutely nothing under turn two so that we get our setup and then we also limit abilities with mock taking away potential top decks of shaman crobat and tetene and tapu lele so let's jump into the expanded ladder with trevnor and see what we can do i do have ditto in there chase fan I do have Ditto, no more Garb, because Zorak seems to not be played at all anymore. Like, Garb Hunter was there for Zorak and for Sinchino's Norlax. And I have not seen those at all in a while. I have not seen those at all online in a while. So, yeah. I think it's gonna be... I think it's gonna be okay. It's not. No, it's two traps, Jade's fan. It's two traps. I would not like to go first. No. I would not actually like to go first. It's crazy how in standard you want to go first with everything except Sentiscorch with Bulk. And then in Expanded, I think you always want to go second. Well, not always, but I think for the most part you want to go second. Okay, we're up against Mew3. We are up against Mew3. Our hand is not ideal. Let's see if the Mulligans can help us out. Not quite, honestly, not, not quite. I mean, it's not terrible by any means. I have the Ultra Wall for Gengar Mimikyu, I have the Attachment, I have this to thin the Juniper so I can Juniper, I have Shaman as well to draw extra cards, I can scoop up Meta, Shaman, or find Flowstone, so... Alright, it should be good. Ooh, we're up against the Dosnord deck again. The Mew3 Dosnord deck again. Pretty cool. It depends on the deck. Yeah, it depends on the deck for sure. All right, Stretcher gets back to Shaman. This definitely one second. I mean, ADP one second, this one second. Ultra Necrozma arguably one second. Mad Party arguably one second. 
Mu3 arguably one second, so you can item lock Rowlet Executor, Wildflow one second, so I don't know, it feels like a lot of things one second, right? A lot, a lot of things one second. What does one first is the question, I guess. In Expanded, what deck does one first? Ooh, Shaman for one, that's never a good indicator, right? That is never a good indicator. All right. Huh, attachment to Shaman brings back the Giratina. This is interesting. Am I going to play Trash -a Bolt? Is it freezing? It's freezing a lot, right? Encoding. I noticed that. It said encoding overloaded. Why? Why is that happening? Why is that happening? And it's still frozen. Well, it's not, no, it's not frozen anymore. Okay, so I, I noticed that. generally never happened before and now it's happening all the time okay so let me focus on this first okay so i'll do this and then i do want to get rid of one of these and i think i do want to turn for this hand away or i give myself the option at least i did price one flowstone and one scoop of net and one trefnor all right, so now I'll do this. I can't burn this. All right, so we'll grab this guy, attach to it. Sure, I'll shake it for three. And okay, that's pretty good. Did I miss the execute? No, it's not in the deck, okay. It is not in the deck. All right, so I only have two via seekers left, so I'm not gonna discard this. I will discard the end, however. I'll discard another energy. So I have three. And honestly, I'll discard the field more. I don't think I'll be needing field more. Okay, now I wanna guarantee the full stone. So I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna lose ultra ult, but that's okay. The, the floatstone is the hard one. Well, actually, I can just scoop up that. Yeah, scoop up that is actually better. And then I get to refill my hand and conserve the ultra wall. That's better. That's way better. It's been a while since I played this deck. Yeah. It's been a while since I played this deck. Okay. So then I'll do this. That's pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and establish the Thebas. And I have another Milotic in the deck, so I'm still gonna research here, even though I lose a Milotic. It's fine, I could end. Nah. Right. Okay, so I have this, I have, I basically have everything I want, right? So let's establish the Ditto. establish the ditto and then let's go crowbat for three more nice okay so now i have my logic i have muck let's go ahead and establish the thebas oh you know what i should have discarded the mock right there oops i should have discarded the mock right there because then i could um put it back with stretcher 
All right. Well, I technically, I guess I don't need to face trainer. Yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna unlock my opponent here. Okay, so I get back my Lodic. I'll evolve here. I'll use the Energy Grace. Like, based on what happened last turn and the fact that I'm gonna have Mock, I'm okay with not having... Um, I'm okay with not having... Not that it changes here. You know, like, what could my opponent do at this point? With two cards in hand instead of just one, plus the top deck, two VS Seekers. Wow, that's really lucky. That is actually really, really lucky. On my part that I got the two VS Seekers. All right, yeah, we see a sad face or a broken heart rather. So we might watch away the two cards and this will probably be game over. Alakazam and Ultra Ball. It's like, yeah, what do you do? Even if you get an energy and you can use uh, Sky Return. There's the Executes, which I kind of wanted earlier. Would have made my discards a little bit easier, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do right now... Okay, top deck's the VS Seeker, so my opponent will be able to recover, but it's like Mewtwo is shot off. How's my PC grind being, Jason? Honestly, not very successful. Um, I'm at 85 points and I have nine keys left, so not the best. Um, like I know I'm gonna qualify in Latin America, but I wanted to be at the very top to get an easier matchup in the first rounds or an easier bracket, right? But um, doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to to do that. Okay, it just froze again, right? It just froze again. I saw that. Encoding overload. Oh, why does that happen? What am I doing wrong? All right. So I'm just thinning a little bit here. I'll go ahead and night watch. And this should be close to game pretty soon. It did freeze for you guys, right? Yeah, 85 is decent. How about you, uh, Jace fan? Are you are you playing in it? How's your grind? How is your grind going? Right, we get end. Once again, my opponent cannot attack me because of Mock. And that should be game. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I want to stop recording at the same time as I'm streaming, which might help with the freezes, and I'll just download the Twitch thing later. You're on 61 with eight keys left. Okay, and you're in North America, obviously. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be close, right? You need to, you need to make the best out of those eight keys. Stallard, why would you say that? Why would you say that matchup comes down to who wins the coin flip? Like, if I had won the, if you had won the coin flip and you had chosen to go second, what would have been different there? Can you KO like Ditto and Fibas on turn one? I guess you have enough Kiratinas, right? You probably have enough Kiratinas. Uh, um, yeah, it's just Stallard. He was the one playing Mew3 with uh, the Dustmore right now. Yeah, the Dustmore, the stage to Dustmore. Okay, we're up against Ultra and Prisma. If my opponent plays a Silent Lab on turn one, we are in trouble. My opponent plays a turn one Titan Lab, we are in trouble. If not, then we're in a pretty good spot. Oh, well. <laughs> well, 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 well. That is bad. That is really bad. Okay, I need to discard a supporter so I can top deck via Seeker. Uh, this is bad. Okay, I'm definitely not setting up mock for him. Ooh, I can use Grimer's attack. Oh my god, that might actually save me. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna prepare. Prepare. In case I get super lucky here. Right? 
Okay, but this gets me the next three cards, which is fantastic. So instead of top decking one, well, <laughs> I mean, better than top decking those back to back turns, right? That definitely would have been game. Yeah, of course, Jason, of course. Yeah, I think aiming for over 80 is definitely the, the right way to go. Okay, goes after my FIBA, so he knows exactly what to do. Yeah, not tempted by the two prize cards. However, if you see me doing that, I feel like there's merit to just going after the Grimer instead. I feel like there has to be merit to going after the Grimer. Right. Um, yikes. I'm in trouble. There's no easy way to say this, right? I am certainly, certainly in trouble. Collect via seeker, please. No. Ugh. I mean, I can buy a turn with Gengar Q, but it's not looking good. Because now there's that guy. <laughs> okay, we get Marty, so we get to look at our next five top decks. But now the stadium is not good enough. I need to top deck field lower or APS seeker. Otherwise, I'm dead. Yeah. But I, like, I have four stadiums, two field blowers, four BS Seekers, and I haven't seen a single one of those. I didn't see any of those on the previous turn. Now I have this, but it's not good enough. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> How much you can do? How much you can do? You gotta have, like, if they don't have that turn one stadium, I don't want to go first, even though I risk the turn one side and lab. Okay, this is a pretty solid hand. I have Supporter, I have Gengar Q. Just hope I don't get dogged by uh, Stadium Laser. <laughs> by Stadium Laser. What the heck? What? Is this an evolution? Challenge? No, because they never play energies, right? They just evolve. What the heck? I don't even know what this thing does, like the evolution. I have absolutely no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Okay, life, dude. That means they're trying to be competitive. Okay. So let's be good, right? Let's discard that, perfect. Oh no, Gengar Mimikyu's our prize. Both of them are living in the prize card. No. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I wish it wasn't the case, right? Okay, well, no, it's not ideal. No, Gengar Q. There isn't a normal evolution challenge. I have no clue. I've never done the challenges. I mean, if you say so, I'll take your word for it. I actually have no clue at all. <laughs> I actually have absolutely no clue. All right. Well, I could have grabbed Shaman or whatever to use this group of men. It's fine if you don't. Uh, Jace fan, no, I've been playing, I've been playing a bunch of stuff. I've been playing ADP, I've been playing Senti Scorch, I've been playing Eternatus, I've played Luke Metal, and I've played Lost Ephelon, so... I've used a bunch of different stuff to, to get the points. Um... What else do I discard here? I get the stadiums? I don't know what stadiums my was playing, though. Still, I feel like I should. Because, yeah, I'm not going to draw a lot of cards, so I do need to stay. So I'll stay in one of these. That could be good to draw. 
Um, I'll thin the Kuzma. And I guess I'll thin a float stone. Alright, please get some good cards. Okay, those are good cards. Those are definitely good cards. So let's do prop. <clears throat> I'll discard my last day. Yeah, so be it. I'll grab my Lodic with this. Just have it in hand. And then I'll do prop. And then if I lose the Shaman, I lose the Shaman. But, well... Honestly, I don't know what I'm up against. I really don't. Do I need Muck? I don't think I need Muck. So you know what? I'm just gonna pass. I don't think I need Muck. I don't think I need Muck this game. I don't think I'll need Muck is rather the right thing to say. I don't think I'll need Muck. I might. I don't think I will. Okay, why not? Now we're about to get a lot of new information. On what the heck we're up against. Oh, I couldn't read. <laughs> uh, have I tried Trashapult? Seagull Man? Yeah, I played with it yesterday. I actually played with it yesterday. You'll see, you'll be able to see the video in three days on Thursday. Yeah, I, I did. I did play with Trashapult. Legs go crazy. Discard Oh my god. What? Okay. Wait, what was the top deck? Another floatstone. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm hoping it's fine. Uh, sure. I'll pinch this. I'll evolve here. Hello, Rockstar, Foxy fan. Energy Grace. Get a prize card opponent. Get another prize card. What deck have you liked the most for Players Cup, Jace fan? Um, I think ADP. It's the most solid one. Cyrus Lake. Hello. Thanks so much for being here. Um. Yeah, that should be good, Jace fan. So yeah, like any variant of ADP seems really good. I like Catcher and Search versions more than anything, but like whatever works for you is is the right call. Uh, okay, so I'll prop. And then I'll do this. I'm not taking a prize card, so I could, if my opponent gets out of the thing, I could lock him again. Right? I could definitely lock him again. You're playing in Hexter tonight? I, I registered as well. Yeah, I registered for Hexter as well. Okay, so goodbye Licky Licky, and goodbye my opponent's hand. Counter, Catcher, and Twin Energy. Nice. Right. Attaches energy to the Bleezy. What does this do? Oh. You draw three cards when you play it and evolve. Oh my god, that's gonna confuse me, isn't it? Okay, well, I have Guzma in the discard pile. Yeah, and I have Via Seeker, so I'm happy with that. Okay. Um. Sure, I'll, I'll bench that. I'll pick up the Shaman. And then I'll use prop discarding the Milotic for a Divas. I have the stretcher still. Yeah. So this is fine in case I need to like do something. And I'll draw three cards. And I should be set for the rest of the game. Right? I should absolutely be set for the rest of the game. And I have a floatstone down, I can Kuzma. Should be good, right? I don't care that I'm confused. Don't care that I'm confused. Do you go first or second with look metal? I think first is right. I think first is right. You switch frames because you got tired of losing the mirrors because you went in second. And you circumvent hammers better with play DP. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so now I go Guzma. And honestly, I'm gonna go after the dude with energy, right? That makes the most sense. That makes the most sense. And then obviously no energy for my opponent, nothing in play, no hand shuffle. I don't need to GX, I could, but I don't need to get an energy, which is nice. 
you always go second. I mean, there's merit to going second, but like, why would you go second, you know? Like, what's the benefit? What are you trying to avoid going second with? Okay, is that my last slow stone? That is my last slow stone. So this energy is super valuable, right? And that's pretty nice. This energy is pretty valuable to potentially retreat. Why none of us, my opponent? Wait. He got, she got Wynonna off the top and she didn't play it. Like, that's a mistake. And now she gets it again. <laughs> that's definitely a mistake, though. Okay, she can't evolve Dado into the Ward, though. That's really good. Leaky Leaky could discard my energy and this. If, he, if she top decks the triple, that could be problematic. Well, I have my Lodic still, so never mind. Yeah, like if you don't have a good reason to go second, then you probably shouldn't be going second, right? You probably shouldn't be going second. Oh my god, what the heck? Top decks back to back Mars and removes my energy. Oh, that's why she didn't play the Winona, because she played the Mars. Lap up. Okay. I have three energy in the discard pile. Even at Guzma, I have two cards. So even at Guzma doesn't do it for my opponent, right? Even at Guzma to trap me, I have good. I have counter Guzma. If I get confused, I have my Lodic blow up into another Trevnor. So I think I'm foolproof. Ryan, drink some water. I need to go get some water after this after this game, okay? It hasn't frozen, right? So far it hasn't frozen in a while. <laughs> Cheers, Ryan, thank you. All right, so after this game-winning turn, ooh, oh boy. If I had one card left, that teammate's top deck could have been game. Imagine if she plays something like Trick Shovel, then we lose, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trick Shovel, Triple, GG. <laughs> That's okay. No, I wanted her to blip head so that she had a chance. Like, so that she thought she had a chance. If she had discarded the Rescue Stretcher, we would have lost, though. If she had discarded the Rescue Stretcher, we would have lost. Because the Mars hit my energy. That's crazy that I almost lost this. <laughs> That is actually crazy that I almost lost. I probably should have played the rest of Stretcher last turn. Probably should have played the rest of Stretcher last turn. Alright. Alright, we're good. Oof. <laughs> that was way closer than it should have been. Alrighty, so Trevnor, I absolutely love this deck. I absolutely love how it works, the concept of it, um, how regional it, it used to be, right? Especially when I played it first. Uh, with my good friend Alex Garcia, we worked on it. And yeah, that's gonna be all for uh, ADP Station. We still have expanded new box deck to go through, so don't go anywhere. I will be right back in just a second. I'm gonna go get some water and I will be right back. 